Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wednesdays with Will. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are, you know, staying safe, staying indoors. Um, you know, I, I hope everyone in the family is getting along now that we're all stuck together inside the house, right? Um, you know, it's just during these times, God is God is helping us to get closer to our families. That's the way you got to look at it, right? Uh, look at the positive side of, of everything. Um, and, you know, just, just keep praying for, for our country, keep praying for our state. I know we're one of the last states that will be opening up, um, you know, California and all its laws and everything. That's just how it works here. Uh, but, you know, just, just pray that we're able to go ahead and open up the churches soon, you guys. Um, you know, that, that's one of the most crucial things that we can be, be praying about right now, uh, just because, you know, we, we need to get the churches open. A lot of people are looking for answers uh, during this time. So we need to make sure that, that the house of God is available for them. Um, but let, let's go ahead and jump into to the schedule or to, to the topic today, you guys. Um, you know, when, when I was thinking about what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, uh, I, was just, I was just asking God, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, during these times, a lot of negativity, a lot of, a lot of uh, just, just things happening. And I was like, you know, what's, what's something that, that we can all just start focusing on to kind of just lift our spirits up and to help us out? Um, and, you know, the message came to my mind about giving. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys today. Is your family prepared for the future when it comes to giving? Okay. The, one of the things that you, you want to do is, you know, when, when you're raising your children, uh, when you're around your family, you know, you want to teach them how to be givers. All right. So if you have your Bibles with you, go ahead and turn your Bible to second Corinthians chapter nine. All right. Second Corinthians chapter nine, where you look at verse number seven. All right. <clears throat> so right here in, in, uh, in the Bible, it says, Every man, according as he purposed, purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not judgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Okay? Now, we know this is one of the most common used uh, verses in the Bible um, when, when it comes to, you know, preaching or when it comes to uplifting others or, or just, you know, teaching people. Um, but th this is a very common, well-known scripture. But you know, when we, when we take that scripture and we kind of break it down, we want to see that, you know, God loves it when we as, uh, as his children are, are big givers, okay? Now, I'm not going to talk about tithing. I'm not talking about offering, none of that stuff, okay? I'm just talking about general, okay? Generally, are you a giving person, okay? I know sometimes it's hard for some people. Some people are not givers, okay? I'll be honest. With me, sometimes I'm kind of like, I don't know, if, like, I don't really feel like giving stuff to people, right? But you have to find it within yourself uh, to, to be that giver, okay? And, and right there in the Bible, it talks about giving with, without a grudge. So that means you have to give, you know, happy as cheerfully as it says. Uh, you know, God loveth a cheerful giver. He loves somebody that's willing to give um, just to give, you know, not, not expecting anything in return. Um, and one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about was, you know, there's, a, there's two things you could be in this world, okay? You could be a giver or you could be a taker, all right? You know, when, when I'm talking to some of my, my mentors, um, one of the biggest things is they always taught me to be a giver. Uh, as a leader, uh, somebody that, that has people following you, you have to be a giver. You know, if you think of Jesus, Jesus was a big giver, okay? So you have to be a giver because if not, that just means you're a taker, all right? Pastor could probably preach a message on this, but like, don't be just a taker, you guys. Don't be somebody that's constantly taking, taking, taking and not giving. Okay, because that's the people that the others do not want to be around. Because if you're constantly just taking from people and not giving, then that that's not the, that's not the way you're supposed to live your life. The happiest that you could ever be, I, I challenge you. If you're if you're if you're feeling down, if you're feeling in in a bad bad mood, bad attitude, I challenge you to go out and find somebody that's really in need and just give to them. Watch how your energy changes. Watch how your your perspective changes. Your your emotions will change, right? So you have to really think, think about that. You have to be a giver, not a taker. When, when we think of, of somebody, like if you think of yourself right now, and, and when it comes to, to dealing with things at the church, or no, you're not even in church, maybe in, in general, in the public, you know, are you more of a giver or are you more of a taker? Are you more of a person that says, you know, let me cut in front of people in line? Or are you the person that says, let me let this person go in front of me? Um, are you the type of person that's always in a rush because you just, you need to get things done or are you the type of person that's kind of just like, okay, let me, you know, relax and, and take my time and 
you know, not stress out because, you know, people around me are, have, have uh, circumstances they're going through too. So let me just, you know, just chill and just uh, and, and give to people, give back. Okay, so that's one thing that I want to talk to you guys about is, you know, just teaching your family, teaching your children how to be givers. Okay, teach them when they're small. Teach them, you know, if you guys go to a restaurant, teach them how to give the tip. Okay, let them give the tip. Uh, so that they can just say, here, waiter, thank you for, for your service. And, you know, let them give them three bucks or whatever amount of tip that you get, usually give a waiter. Um, it just teach them from a young age to be givers, okay? Because there's a lot of takers out here, you guys. There's a lot of takers in the world. We don't need any more takers. We need more givers, okay? Especially during times like this. Uh, so that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys uh, learned from that. Uh, so just make sure that your family's prepared in the future when it comes to giving. Okay, God loveth the cheerful giver without grudge. Okay, so don't do it if you're gonna be mad. If you're gonna give and you're gonna be mad about it, don't do it. Okay, but just make sure that you guys teach and you guys learn about how to give and how to be a giving person. No more takers. Okay, no more takers out here. All right, you guys. So like I said, I hope you guys learn from that, and you know, I love doing these these little uh, messages, devotionals with you guys. So I hope you guys tune in for next week's. All right, you guys. Have a good day.